From my perspective, it's mostly about the user experience. QPCR is a pretty evolved technology by now, so the main differences that you're going to see between different providers is going to be in the details about how the staff interact with the instrument. And I've found that Thermo's done a really great job smoothing out some of the hurdles that would ordinarily tend to slow down projects, delay timelines, maybe create more barriers to people being agile about moving into different loci. So for example, seamless integration between the bioinformatics tools that allow primer design and making sure that they're ready for duplexing or multiplexing, those things will take a lot of the anxiety out of a new project where maybe a, a innovation into a new locus could take two weeks, except that with the design tools, it's something you can do in an afternoon. Well, for us, this is something that we wish that we'd had. We did our endogenous control profiling before we got our Quant Studio 6 Pro. But if we'd had it, there's a, a built-in feature that allows you to do your endogenous control profiling at the same time as your first real data collection run. So we didn't have that, so we had to spend a whole week doing special purpose runs for all that profiling work. And integrating the, the data with the off-board software is uh, less convenient. So we, we would have been able to collapse a week of our timeline if we'd had the Studio 6 Pro at that time. Well, we're really hoping that our pipeline takes off and that we could be looking at hundreds of thousands of samples in the future. At that point, I think that we would need automation and that would mean probably being in a seven rather than a six. The automation features and also the regulatory compliance issues with the seven would be very appealing.